folks. It is another uh, Sunday night. Here we are enjoying Net Talk Live, bringing you Net Talk Live, sharing with you everything you need to know about the internet and how to use it. Of course, we're going to be with you here for the next two hours from 10 to midnight teaching you about the internet. And I'll tell you right up front, it's going to be a little different tonight simply because there's only going to be one phone line for you to call in on. I want to let you know we're not going to use the 800 number tonight uh, simply because there's a Mavericks game in progress on the West Coast that's utilizing that line here at the station. But the numbers to know to call in are 214-787-1570. That's 214-787-1570. And of course you can follow along on our website here at Net Talk Live. Our website is www.nettalklive.com. That's our website, and you can send email during the show to nettalk at nettalklive.com. But I want to let everybody know, folks, please don't call in on the 800 line because you won't get an answer. You, they'll only allow you to ask maverick questions. <laughs> so you don't, you definitely don't want to do that. And for the people out there that you normally listen to us on AudioNet, because we're a triple cast, radio, television, and internet, it's a little different tonight. You won't be able to hear us on the internet for a portion of the show because of the Mavericks game being blocked out. And that's just kind of the way it goes. Right, Laura? Yes, that's right. It's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> We've got people in different rooms tonight. Is that correct? Yeah, we moved everybody around normally different than what it is in the studio. We have a whole different sound system, so you're, you're hearing us differently and you're going to see us a little bit differently, but yeah. that's... But we're still going to do the same old thing. We're going to be doing the same good thing. And if you're tuning in for the first time, uh, what we do is we talk all about the Internet and the World Wide Web and make it kind of familiar and friendly because uh, the Internet is where it's at and is where it's going to be in the future. And like I've said before, if you've got your president of the United States saying everybody needs to be on the Internet, you need to learn it. And we were, I was just talking to somebody before the show, Jovan, a new makeup artist that we have here, and she was like, ah, oh, but it's intimidating, you know. And I, and I was remembering when I first got introduced to the Internet via you uh, over a year and a half ago, and I just was blown away and it took me about a week just to kind of settle down and get not be so nervous. And the only problem was it was just a different language, and it really is much simpler than it sounds. So just hang out, have a good time. We've got a lot of fun things that we're going to cover. I've got some great websites, again, uh, which I think You've been be doing really great. Fun. You've yeah, been doing a lot you. of great websites. Thank you. I'm having to outdo myself. I'm spending a little bit more time before the show surfing. But hopefully uh, y'all will enjoy the sites. And uh, we, also, we have other things going on tonight. We've got some trivia hunt uh, going on tonight. Some of the things we're giving away is like a $50 gift certificate to Communication Expo. We're giving away, uh, I think, an Internet phone. Um, oh, software great. package that we're giving away. Um, and of what course do those usually cost, by the way? They're about $50 worth of software. Uh huh. Is a $50 software price, and it's where you can call over the internet absolutely free, long distance, not pay any charges, which is one of the neat things you can do with the internet now. F for the folks of you that are out there that aren't on the internet, one of the cool things you can do with a computer now is you can call Aunt Edna in East Jesus Junction, Utah, right through your computer, provided, of course, she has one, and you can talk back and forth free. Yeah. No long distance charge. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to be having that. We're going to be telling you more. If you are one of the people that signed up to come see us live at the Dallas West End next Sunday, that's next Sunday, March 2nd, live at the Dallas West End. Hey, the people that you registered to attend with you, call them and tell them to tune in because we're going to blow your socks off tonight when you finally find out all the different things that you're going to get next Sunday by attending live. We're just going to blow your socks off, and you, <laughs> need, you need to let them know. So you just call them. Lots them and lots and lots and lots of prizes. Anyway, let's take our first call. Let's go to line one. Let's go to Tiffany in Dallas. Hey, Tiffany. Welcome to Net Talk Live tonight. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. Great. What can we do for you tonight? Um, I'm kind of confused. I have a couple of, a question about the Internet. I don't understand what the difference between the Internet and the intranet is. Oh, okay. And I will hang up and listen to your answer. Okay, okay. great. You know, Laura, you. we get that question is... What is an, everybody's heard the term intranet, but there's a new term going around. It's actually been out there for a while called intranet. And she wants to know what's the difference between an internet and an intranet. So let's go over to Mark Markham. Let's go over to our webhead. Hey, Mark, do you have a good explanation of what's the difference between internet and intranet? Hey, everybody. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, it's real easy to understand, Laura. Um, and what it is is that the, an intranet is just like having a web-based or an HTML-based 
internet within your company. Let's say you have a local area network and you have maybe 10 or 15 computers in your business or in your home for that matter and you want to be able to have a web-based communications forum whether that's web pages or even collaborating or conferencing you can do that internally and not have it you know out on the internet itself so internet just means very much that we're going to do it on the internal side. And that's spelled I-N-T-R-A-N-E-T yeah. right? So mm -hmm. it's in internet is the global one all That's around right. the world all the computers that are connected where That's you can right. look at websites just like ours www.nettalklive.com right. if you were looking at our website that's something you can look at on the internet meaning anybody can get to it mm -hmm. and so mark an intranet usually means one just inside a company yeah it's kind of an internal network that you use and, and what's what that's you're gonna hear some new terms too like groupware um, and things where people are using software and stuff on their intranets where they can actually change and see things like share documents, work on different projects and whatnot. Um, we've, we're even working on an internet based intranet for NetTalk Live. So we can all communicate yeah. in our own private sector. Anyway, let's go to our next call. Let's go to let's go to Bob in Garland. Hey Bob, how you doing? Let's see. Bob, are like, you there? It's Bob's online too. Let's go to Bob and Garland. There hey Bob. Go. Hi Bob, how you doing? Just fine. How are you guys doing? We're doing just great tonight. What can we do for you? Well, uh, you know, I've heard you guys talk about the deal going on at the West End yeah. on March second. Right. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not really on the net yet, but I was just wondering, you know, can anybody come? Yeah. <laughs> we knew we were going to get <laughs> yeah, that question. Yeah, I think the answer is yes. Well, let me let me kind of explain what that is. On March second, folks, we're doing a live broadcast from the Dallas West End, and we've uh, told people that basically what you can do is uh, you can uh, sign up over our website and. Um, go and uh, click on the button and sign up over our website at uh, www.nettalklive.com. Of course, now what we've done is we have, we're making it available completely to the public. So, if you're not on the internet, and that's a good question that Bob had, if you're not on the internet, you can show up at the Dallas West End and come to the broadcast. And uh, Mark, we'll go over to Mark Markham real quick. Mark, I know that, uh, the, what we're doing is we're using the website as a way to confirm their software. Is that correct? Yeah, actually, uh, today I put I sent off a gold master to get all the CDs copied. And so what we need people to do when they go to the website and register is it lets me know how many CDs we're going to make. If you're just going to come down and join the broadcast and eat at the restaurants and just be with us and have fun, that's great. If you want to guarantee yourself a copy of the CD-ROM, they need to go to the website and register, and you can do that at your local library. Go to one of the many internet connect cafes like Diedrichs down at Communications Expo, uh, and go ahead and go to the website and register so that you get yourself guaranteed a copy of the CD-ROM. And that's really about the difference. But so, Mark, otherwise people can just show up. Absolutely, that's, that's come down, now. shake our hands, visit with us, look at all the stuff. Uh, you know, it's just there's going to be tons of people there. So Dave, uh, it, 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 how many over there to our gadget guy, Dave Matthews, how many, let's say Dietrich's coffees and stuff like that, that would be a good place to sign up. How many computer terminals are in there or what? They've got uh, 15, 16 computers that are set up all live on the internet. So any one of those you could use. But only if you need the software. If you just want to come join us, you don't need to register, and that's important to know. And there's also Rick's Cyber Grill in Denton. That's, right. that's another cyber cafe. And I believe there's one in Plano, too. Is that still out there, Javon? Remember there was that name of that place? Maybe someone will call us tonight and let us know what it is. Java something, I think I recall. Yeah, it was a do there was a Java shop. Yeah, in Plano. there was. Uh -huh, there was a cyber cafe out there. But I know that Dietrich's is pretty central if you're in the Dallas area. And even if you're in Fort Worth, you want to drive all the way over. Uh, unless someone, uh, again, lets us know about another cyber cafe over in Fort Worth uh, that uh, Beltline and the Tollway at Communication Expo is Diedrich's Cafe. It's really great, and you just have to come over there anyway to see one of these things. So what we do, folks, we want to let you know, the w reason we had you sign up over the website, if you have Internet access, is so we know how many CDs to press for all the people that are attending. So don't feel left out. If you're not on the Internet, you can call all of your friends and have them attend, okay? And if they're not on the net, it doesn't matter. They can come down, learn about the net, participate in the festivities, have the fun with us all night long at the West End, live bands, all the stuff that's going on. And we're going to try to estimate the overflow of people that aren't on the net and have enough software for everyone to give away. And don't worry, even if you don't get your software uh, handed to you there, you'll at least get a claim check for it, uh, Laura, which we'll be passing out at a later date. So you do absolutely oh, get a copy 
But if you want to sign up over the web now, just go do it. It's the easiest way to do it to confirm that you absolutely are going to get a copy when you show up. And by up. the way, and I mean, also, when we did this in uh, December. Right, December. We gave away some software, and it was quite successful. And, you know, we just had a great time with that. And I know, I don't know, I, I, I'm i real interested to know how much software is on this CD. Are you going to be able to tell us this evening what, what we're giving away? I think you've had a few additions since we've been discussing this. Mark's, Mark's kind of laughing because Why? you're going to you're later on in the show, you're going to see a bit that he did for everyone to kind of tell them what's on the CD. Okay. <laughs> in value, each CD, Mark, Mark is uh, about two, a little over $2,000 oh, now. A, it's more than $2,000 worth now. On I'm each CD? Easy. On each on CD. every CD that they now, get. Now, I don't understand that. Now, I do not understand how you can do that. I, I don't understand how we did it either. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna, <laughs> we, pulled, work. we pulled some major strings, some major strings to get the software on that CD. But when you see the titles on the software, which we're going to talk about, uh, I'm going to go to the next call, but before we... A little later in the broadcast, we're going to talk about the titles you're going to get on the CD, and it's absolutely going to blow you away. But think about it. Let's say, how about Microsoft Publisher 97, which is, you I've know, used we, that and which, I love which that. You, you've uh -huh. used, and you can do newsletters and greeting cards and. I mean, all kinds of reports. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. I know. I have the, sli I have the slickest looking brownie troop newsletter ra around. <laughs> I do. Anyway, Don't I? <laughs> anyway, you can, you can actually, you can actually, um, you know, you walk in the store. It's about 140, 140 dollars a copy, I think, if you walk in the store and get it. Mm -hmm. That um, this is one I'm going to grease you with right now. Everybody who shows up is going to get a copy. That's great. Oh, fully. Licensed I mean, these companies copy. do this, Jovan, these the companies do this just for promotional reasons. Uh, no, they mainly did it because they heard you were going to be on stage oh, and you were going to be drawing a crowd a of people. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Gosh. Seriously. No, it's, it's real simple. It, 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 to me, if, you know, you get several thousand people using a product and they're happy with it, they're going to tell two friends and, and they're, they're going to tell two friends okay. and so on and so, and so on. on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kurt, my director, you're supposed to be splitting my screen there and showing 10 of me oh. anyway. <laughs> Let's go to our next call. Let's go to line three. Susan in Dallas. Hi, Susan. Welcome to Net Talk Live this evening. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great. Good. Thank you. you have a question? Yes, I do. Okay. I want to know if I win one of the PCs next Sunday. Okay. If a, a, a Mac can be substituted for it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely like not. Oh darn it all! You know what, I'm, know. Susan? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Mark Markham and and Luis, our Mac <laughs> guy, has been working super hard with the Apple folks to get uh, Apple computers. And unfortunately, Mark, am I correct, Mark? An Apple computer is not slated to give away. Uh, not, it's not on the books yet, but it is still in the air. It's a possibility. Uh, as a matter of fact, you'll notice that Luis isn't here tonight because he's in New York trying to finish up some of that. We will come. Whatever kind of water it takes, we're going to have some Mac hardware to give away for you oh, people. Good. We, are. we have tons of Mac software, right? Yes, we do. We, we have some incredible Mac, Mac software stuff. we're giving away. But, Susan, if you do w currently, if you do win, win one of the PCs, you're going to be the proud owner of a PC. But we're really, 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 really working on a Mac. Okay. Okay? Thank you. How many, Thanks, fri how many friends are you bringing, Susan? Probably one. Okay. Well, you're going to have some fun. Great. It's going to blow your socks off, Susan. It sounds so. like a great time. I didn't get to come at Christmas. So. Well, this is going to be a good one, and we're going to have great weather. I and, knew we were uh, missing we're gonna be pa We're going to be packed outside, and we're going to have a good time. So we look forward to seeing you there, Susan. Okay. Bye-bye, Susan. Bye. Thanks. Anyway, let's go to our next call. Let's see. Let's go to line four. Let's go to Chris N. Denton. Hi, Chris. You're on Net Talk Live. Hi. Um, I had a question about m movies. Okay. Um, I like to... Um, I'm looking for the best site for like a, a movie, like like all the best movies. Okay. So you want to kind of find a movie site on the internet, is that right, Chris? Yes. Okay. Well, let's okay. let's go over to uh, let's go over to Gadget Guy. Let's go over to Dave Matthews. Dave, you've got your computer handy there. What would you say? Isn't uh, I'm trying to think. There's one called. See, the Internet TV? Movie Database. All right. Is that right? We got it up on your computer. Yeah, let's let's no, take a look at it. No, we don't have here. it up on my computer. We're trying oh, to get it up on my computer. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but um, a couple colleges and universities have set up this gigantic Internet Movie movie Database. And if I can get it pulled up here, uh, it's really Now, slick. this is the one that actually gives reviews and ratings mm -hmm. and information behind the scenes on sites, you correct? do actor searches. If you know an actor's name, it helps you out to find out what all the movies they've been in. It just, it's phenomenal what all it does. I would imagine, like, the AMC would have a site, you know? You know well, I know that there's, there's Tinseltown, which is uh, Cinemark. Cinemark okay, has a Cinemark movie has site. A site. And of and course, AMC Universal has Studios. A movie site. Universal Studios, right. Warner Brothers, and a lot of the individual movies as well these days, like Dante's Peak. I, do you, I wonder if Dante's Peak is. Yeah, Dante's, uh, Dante's Peaks has a site. So, has a site. Uh, mm -hmm. so, Dave, you know, 
it's a little different in the studio today because what you're having is we've stretched our people around so they're normally not looking at their monitors where they can see what's going on and know what kind of stuff they were looking for. So Dave's kind of in a scramble there. Dave, uh, I'm doing a Yahoo search on it right now, so oh, I'm, I'm trying to get okay. Yahoo to pull it up. So for Mark, me. do you have? Isn't there movies.com as well? Yeah, it's actually it's a movie link. I was looking on my computer trying to find the actual address. I could call home because I know my wife looks at it every Friday night. <laughs> it's called movie. Uh, it's movielink.com, and you can actually tell it your zip code. So from then on, whenever you go back, it'll actually look up and show you all the theaters that are closest to you, the movies that are playing, when they're playing, whether the tickets have been sold out or not, um, and even have reviews of the movies and stuff, and even some trailers that you can download and watch the oh, trailers. Right. So, yeah, that's that's so cool. there's movielink.com, there's right. movies.com, there's cinemark.com. I think there's one for AMC. You can check it out there. But uh, hopefully, Chris, that should be enough sites for you to check out and uh, actually find some of those movies online. So what I want to do, I'll let the guys know in uh, the control room a heads up. Folks, I want you to get ready on your browsers here. I'm going to send you on a treasure hunt, okay? Now, this particular treasure hunt, get ready, because it's got a pretty good prize attached to it, okay? And we have a new prize hotline number just for this show. So don't start calling the old hotline. We've got a brand new number for it. So let's go ahead, and we're going to send you on a cityview.com treasure hunt. They're yelling, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, Pete the Prize Guy here, and it's time for another cityview.com treasure hunt, and here's what you're going to win. A copy of Internet Phone. Talk for free for hours over the Internet. Here's what you're going to do. Go to cityview.com, Dallas, and find the giveaway for a $6,000 multi-purpose, multifunctional audio and video security system for your new home. Read the rules and then be the fifth caller to 214-263-1230 and give us the URL and the giveaway site and the name of the three sponsors. Okay, let me tell you what that is. When you go to cityview.com, it's a real interesting thing that they have going on, Laura. They have like a, uh, I'm trying to remember what it is. It's like a uh, $6,000 prize that they're doing on cityview.com, oh, which you wow. need to check out. See, I love cityview.com. They give and, away good stuff. And what they'll do is they will wire your house with video, audio, and all kinds of other stuff to kind of uh, let you, uh, um, should we say, video surveillance your house. And they'll tie in an ISDN line, so you're getting like a high, oh, internally? high internal <laughs> tech house. So that's one of the things you can win. Wow. So besides that treasure hunt being cool, which you need to go on, you actually could probably win about $6,000 worth of wiring for your home. Anyway, we got a special message coming up for you in this break. And I want to kind of let... <laughs> Hey, NetHeads, Joe Vaughn here, and if you haven't signed up for a Net Talk Live's live broadcast from the Dallas West End next Sunday, that's March 2nd, next Sunday, let me give you two more reasons you need to go sign up right now. One, we're going to be giving away computers, scanners, color copiers, digital cameras, and almost $100,000 in box software as prizes. Additionally, every person who attends is going to receive the NetTalk Live Microsoft CD featuring Microsoft Internet Explorer and over $2,000 worth of fun, exciting, and useful software. How about titles like, fully licensed now, Microsoft Publisher 97, Microsoft Money 97. You're going to get those titles and many others just for showing up next Sunday, March 2nd, to our live broadcast at the Dallas West End. Also, if you've signed up your friends, remember, because you can invite four, please ask them to go to our website and sign up their guests for themselves so we can make sure that everyone who attends gets their $2,000 software package. So sign up, and we'll see you next Sunday live from the Dallas West End. I used to use Netscape. I now use Microsoft Internet Explorer. I used to use Netscape, and I now use Microsoft Internet Explorer. I switched to Internet Explorer because we put it to the test, and Internet Explorer is the better browser. I switched to Internet Explorer because it's easier to use, has everything the other browser has, and it's free. Absolutely free. Is it a time you switch? It's easy. Just go to this website. And click on this logo, and your computer does the rest. Get smart. Get Internet Explorer. Download it now. It's free. I did it. I, you know, I could have said no, I could have walked away, and I did it. Amy Fisher. So I just feel like everybody hates me. Her mother. I really don't think that she was had the ability at 16 to think it through. And Geraldo Rivera, the interview from prison. How many times do you allege that you have been raped in this facility? No more. I'm very, very concerned about her safety. Next Geraldo Rivera Show.
Monday at 1 on Hot TV 27. Eight full hours of nonstop Bach. The Texas Independence Day Music Festival rocks the Bronco Bowls Canyon Club Saturday, March 8th. All night long, you'll jam to Cold Blue Steel and other great Texas bands. Celebrate Texas Independence Day, Saturday, March 8th. For tickets, call the festival hotline at 214-823-3966. Sponsored in part by Fox 4, Hot TV 27, Buddy and Budweiser. What's hot tomorrow? Hot TV. On Hot TV 27. Tomorrow night at 7 on Poltergeist The Legacy. An ancient evil force is unleashed upon mankind, and only a secret group called The Legacy can fight it. Don't turn out the lights. Tomorrow night at 7, watch Poltergeist The Legacy. If it's hot, you've got to watch. Hot TV. Hot TV 27, tomorrow night. This is the special report you've been waiting for. You'd go through and just try to use scare tactics. Exclusive. The whole game was to get them to sign up right now. Undercover. Did it feel like it was high pressure? Investigative. I felt, I felt dirty. I couldn't stand it. If this is the way a former employee felt, how would you feel? I think they're lower than dirt. Is a major pest control company preying on your vulnerabilities? I team reporter Becky Oliver with a Fox 4 News special report. The real pests. Tomorrow at 10. Your Fred sure planned a humdinger of a trip. Did the whole thing on the internet. I didn't know Fred was into computers. He's not. way onto the internet for people who aren't way into computers. New Southwestern Bell Internet Service. With unlimited access, you can actually access. We're back. It's the world's best live triple cast. If you or your company needs an exciting and effective website created, then you need the best web development team in the business. The cast and crew of Net Talk Live. Net Talk Live will create a highly effective website for you or your business. Just give us a call at 800-673-3836. That's 800-673-3836. Follow along with the broadcast of Net Talk Live by going to our homepage at www.nettalklive.com. To send an email during the show, address it to nettalk at nettalklive.com. As I hold my breath here, <laughs> doing live TV, <laughs> the only room, folks, you watch us every Sunday in and out, the only normal room we're in is this room. Everybody else is broken up into new rooms, new switches, everything rewired, rethink. New cables everywhere that are... Shows how much we love you guys. Everywhere. <laughs> this is quite challenging, I was almost actually. tempted to run a rerun tonight. Almost. I came that close. I came that close to running a rerun. We're trying. We're really no, trying. No, no, no. We do it live. That's one thing about live TV. Just ask Mark. We caught him one time picking his nose on TV. Right, Mark Markham? Didn't Too we? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stuff like that. Come well, on. it's got to be better than having a live haircut on TV. <laughs> a what? A live haircut. haircut. What's that? Well, didn't you just have a haircut in the last break? <laughs> I mean, did I notice something missing? There's something a, missing in what? The ponytail. Where did it go? Did you lose it? It's gone, folks. It's really gone. It's gone. It's I gone. It I think it looks awesome. I think it looks Good great, job. Javon. It was, thank you very much, Laura. I really Good. appreciate it. It was uh, 13 years. Um, 12 years. 12 years, I guess. Very good. And looks I, great, Javon. Did, well, thank you very much. Looks really a lot good. better. I noticed that uh, I don't walk around like this anymore. <laughs> what does <No>. that mean? <laughs> With my head pulled back. I it actually made my that. hair look a little fuller, fuller so I think I, d I, d I did okay. So, Laura, I know you get a cool site. Well, yeah. Now, I have three sites tonight. The first one I'm going to cover is just, it's called, uh, I called it, you go to our website, 
and I'm looking underneath Laura's picks, and this is called More Great Newbie Terms, is what I termed it. Oh, so I it's a cool it. newbie one. It's now. another newbie site, and it has more a, glo a glossary. And I want to thank Leanne, who sent me an email and, and sent me to this site. And if you want to, and I, I have another one on Laura's picks, is similar to this, but this has some real interesting things. And if you want to scroll down, and we'll show some of the terms, if we could, please, Jeff. Um, I saw some terminology in here that I did not see in the other one. Uh, for example, Alex, which is software which provides internet users with a trans you know, I mean, things that I've never seen before that I think I need to know now, now that I'm more, you know, kind of know a lot of these terms. If we had time, we could go all the way down to intranet and see intranet there. But basically, it's a really nice thing that you can go ahead, uh, call it up, and, and can we find intra? Is, do they have an intranet yeah, on this one? Yeah, we just need to go up just a little. Do you think they have an intra? No, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I see. I'm not yeah, certain. Intranet. I'm not certain if they've got intranet on this one. They but I know we have it. in the other one. But anyway, if, go ahead and go to this. If you're a newbie, you can go ahead and print this out, have a little notebook by you, and you can look up all these wonderful terms because this is like the first step. Besides learning how to use a browser and getting on using search engines and things like that, you also need to know what you're reading about. Um, it's very very simple to uh, get going, but you know you can kind of get a little bit so this is crazy good. Yeah, with this stuff. So this is good if you just got on the net and you just got started and you hear somebody saying, my Alex server wasn't probably working the <laughs> other day, and you'll know what they're Don't talking about. Don't you remember about. when we took it, we were on a trip somewhere, I forgot where it was, uh, was it, I don't remember, New Mexico or something like that, and we were hanging out in a restaurant, we were outside on this patio, and all of a sudden, like, there's a table of, like, oh, eight that's people, right. ten people, that's right. and, and, and they were all talking. In code. In code. In code. In code. Men and women and everything. And Pretty funny, like, right? Right in the middle really of the funny. desert and mountains and a plate full of enchiladas, and here are all these people sitting around the table. And it was it was absolutely funny just oh. to hear all these people talking well, in code. It was code. really interesting, and I'm sure if people go to parties these days, or, or, or when people do go to parties these days, they'll hear like little pockets of people talking in this language, See, and it can be rather intimidating. Laura, yes, I, I use that as a trick to make me sound intelligent, so <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it works for me. So. That's, be, I know that's because your that's because your gadget. Yeah, but a lot of the stuff I just make up and on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go to our next call. Let's go to line one. Let's go to Randy in Fort Worth. Hi, Randy. Andy, how are you doing tonight? Oh, pretty good. You're you're on Talk Live. What can we do for you? Thank you. Uh, I need to check on deal. I just put PC phone manager on my computer. Say that again. I couldn't quite hear you. Oh, I put PC phone manager on my computer. Uh huh. And when I did, what it does it plugs into the printer port, and then the printer plugs in on the other side of it. It goes through it. Well, every time I get ready to print something now, it says the uh, printer's not found or cannot print. Okay, well let's let's go over to our gadget guy who's done gadget stuff like this. Let's go over to Dave Matthews. Dave, uh, Randy's saying he tried this new PC phone manager. What's going on? And what we're going to do is while we're going to go to a break. We're going to let Dave answer that question. What Randy's done for you at home is he's got a software program that has a hardware piece to it that allows him to answer and manage his phone calls through his computer. It's a new technology, and he's having a problem with it. But we're going to answer it all right after this very brief message. We'll be right back. Mark, on your web head here with a special surprise for you. Look what I've got. This is a Gold Master, a Gold Master CD-ROM. I sent one of these off to cut your free copy of the CD-ROM software you're going to receive when you register and attend our live broadcast next Sunday night from the Dallas West End Marketplace. Here's what you're going to get on the CD-ROM. The NetTalk Live Custom Internet Explorer, both for PCs and for you Power Mac users. We have Microsoft's Office 97 full feature trial kit version. We have Microsoft's Front Page, Microsoft Publisher 97, Money 97, even NT Server 4.0. Fully licensed just for you. We've got Microsoft Net Meeting, Comic Chat, Perch IRC Client. We have WinZip and McAfee's Antivirus for you, and so much more. Here's what you got to do. Go to our website at www.nettalklive.com and click on the icon that says, Join us March 2nd. Fill out the form and get registered. We'll see you next Sunday. Come get your free CD-ROM. On the next heat of the night. If that girl killed her parents and hid the bodies, that's news. It's front page news. When a house gives up its dead. We located your father. How long is he dead? A year. A girl will go to any lengths. The evidence all points to her. I didn't do it. I didn't. To hide her father's last supper in the heat of the night. Monday at 4 on Hot TV 27. My life motto is that the truth will set you free. 
1960, I started on this road in the newspaper business, not knowing nothing about it, to make sure that I got the right information and the truth out to my people. I know that the truth will set you free. Bill Blair, a living legend, another thread in our rich Texas tapestry, brought to you by Fox 4 and the Junior Black Academy of Arts and Letters. Where'd your dad get all those bees? That's my mom. Where'd your mom get all those bees? She bought them over the internet. I didn't know your mom was into computers. She's not. Finally, a way onto the internet for people who aren't way into computers. New Southwestern Bell Internet Service. With unlimited access, you can actually access. Oh, boy. You want Dallas Cowboys? We got them. You want fun and games? They're here. You want hard to find memorabilia? No sweat. You're short on cash? No problem, it's free. I'm George Dunham. And I'm Craig Miller. We're from The Ticket, and if you're a sports fan, then don't be a goober and miss this. Ticket Stock, starting Friday through Sunday at the Dallas Convention Center. Thanks to Fox 4 Sports and Sports Radio 1310, The Ticket. Hot TV asks, do you know which witch? Which witch flies on a big brown broom? Which witch drives a big ugly tank? Which witch casts a spell with the twitch of her nose? Which witch downs brew when things get rough? Which witch has a meddling mother? Which witch is the meddling mother? Two witches, a bag full of tricks. A double dose of Mama's Family brewed around Bewitched. Weeknights at 5 on KDFI Hot TV 27. Next on Springer, Jerry's in Schenectady, New York, to moderate a town meeting with one hot topic. Should adult clubs like this be permitted in residential communities? The debate gets heated. This town is going to hell because of places like this. If you don't want to go there, don't, you don't go. Have to. Wayne's wife works in the clubs. My wife here is a dancer, not a prostitute. A town at war. What would you do if this was your neighborhood? Next Jerry Springer. Monday at 9 on Hot TV 27. Live from Dallas, Texas, broadcast worldwide, it's the world's first interactive triple cast. Watch on Hot TV KDFI Channel 27, the live broadcast from the studios of 570 KLIF Radio, and sent worldwide via AudioNet. It's Net Talk Live with your co-host, Laura Lewis. Gadget Guy, Dave Matthews. Webhead. Mark Markham, and your tour guide to the internet and host of Net Talk, Jovan. Net Talk Live is brought to you by Microsoft, developers of the world's leading computer software, including the internet's smartest web browser, Internet Explorer. Get smart. Download your free copy of Internet Explorer now. Communication Expo, your one-stop, low-price communication superstore. Communication Expo, the first 20,000 square foot communication superstore. Visit us in North Dallas at Beltline and the Toll Road. Sponsored in part by Computer Currents Magazine, your source for computing in the real world. Visit us on the World Wide Web at Currents.net. Sponsored in part by CityView.com, your local information and entertainment source. Visit us on the World Wide Web at CityView.com. So boot up your computer, grab your mouse, and join in the fun. Learning about the Internet and the World Wide Web. Follow along with the broadcast of Net Talk Live by going to our homepage at www.nettalklive.com. To send an email during the show, address it to nettalk at nettalklive.com. What's that dance there you're doing, old Mark Markle? Mark, 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 Mark. <laughs> Mark's back there trying to do the old... I have no idea what it's doing. <laughs> it's got a cross between the geek thing, you know? I don't know. It's just, it's that zone music is just too good. I you love know, it. You know what you're doing there, Mark? Is, <laughs> <laughs> is that how you do it, Dave? Hey, no. Hey, is that's that how you touch my guns? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't touch my guns. Right? <laughs> that's what I've heard. Anyway... <laughs> Before we go back to the call, where Randy, uh, I guess it was Randy on the one that was having a problem with uh, 
his uh, PC phone manager. Mark, I have to ask you a question real quick to Mark Markham. Okay, Mark, okay. I noticed in that bumper when we're talking about a March 2nd thing that NT server is on this CD. Did and I say that? Yeah, NT server on the CD. And I know that's really a high, high end product. What I are you have telling no me about idea that? what this is, by the way. I know it sounds like it's gold or something, but what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? Well, all the, all the techies are going, no way, you're kidding me. And you're I'm right. like, huh? <laughs> No, it, it's, it? it's an operating system. It's it is it's kind of like a, a very solid sound version of Windows 95, um, except it's made for bigger computer networks, for computers that cannot afford to crash. They cannot afford to have software applications that go down on them. Uh, I mean, the 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 NT server is a a major operating system platform. So, and that's one that matter of fact, it's a good point, Javon. I want to make sure when people get this CD-ROM that if you install this, you're going to replace your operating system with a new operating system, and it is not forgiving one iota. Not at all is it forgiving. So you have to make sure everything is absolutely correct. And when this you is use really this. a pro a pro user's tool. It's a pretty high end piece of software. Absolutely. I mean that piece of software alone is like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars large. Just that one title. Just yeah. that one title. And Mark, I know you fully customize a version of Internet Explorer, right? Let's tell them about that real quick. Oh yeah, it's got uh, it's got a whole list, probably close to a hundred different favorite sites of all of our past hot sites. Um, we've got a uh, some newer versions of our logo up in the corner and all the animation and so forth. Um, it's, good. It's, it's really, really nice, if I say so myself. We worked very hard on it. Brandon Brown and myself and uh, Jeff Harris worked on the graphics with us. Um, you know, and then Friday, I spent all day Friday doing the compilation and getting it all compiled together. And it's really, really nice. You're really going to love it. It's going to be yeah. absolutely amazing. Now, Javon, for, for newbies out there who are not even on the Internet, the deal is you got to have a computer and you got to have software in order to, like, do the things you need to do. Right. So yeah. in, in the way it used to be, I used to think when I first got into this business was I'd have to go into a store and go buy all this software, right? Right. But you can give it, have it given to you by the Net Talk Live people. Yeah, that's one easy way to put it. Right? It's, it's, it's literally like... Some of the hottest software titles like Microsoft Publisher, an Internet Explorer, an excellent web browser, uh, Money97 from Microsoft. It's literally like walking in to a computer store and having somebody just hand it to you. Like a basket full. And yep. that's what's, that's what's okay. going to happen at the West End when you show up for Except this it's event. On one little it's CD. on one CD. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just going to be handed to you. All right. Very, Everything very you nice. can want from word processors to spreadsheets to database stuff to publishing, desktop publishing to uh, managing your money. You know, tax season's right around the corner if it's not already here. Uh, I mean, everything you could possibly want for your computer, it's there. And, and you're going to get it just for showing up. Anyway, let's go over to our gadget guy, Dave Matthews. Dave, he was asking a question about why, when he was using his PC phone manager product, was it runs through his printer. Is that how it works, Dave? And now it's not recognizing his printer? What's going on? Yeah, usually these products use a serial port, and your computer has two serial ports. One of them can be Is used. that like Lucky Charms, you mean? Yeah, serial. C-E-R. No, this is S-E-R-I-A-L. And serial. that means what? Uh, it's a communications port that is open for a multitude of devices on your computer. Um, it could be a mouse, it could be a digital camera, et cetera, et cetera. His device happens to use the parallel port. Well, in order to share it with your printer, which most people have plugged into that port, they've made a pass-through box. And what this does is the telephone device grabs enough data it needs and then transfers the rest of the data to the printer. Well, unfortunately, it is not always 100% compatible. And what's happening is the, the printers today need a two-way street. Um, it needs information going to the printer, the printer saying, hi, I'm here, I have enough toner, or I have the right cartridge in place, and now I'm going to tell the computer that everything's copacetic. Can I say that? Copacetic. <laughs> so Just don't ask me to say <laughs> Massa, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't do that. Oh, but pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> what's happened here is, is the hardware that he's using is not fully compatible with the, the printer he has, and the only solution for this is for him to get an AB switch box and he'll be able to switch between when he wants to use it in telephone mode and when he wants to use it in printer mode. Oh, and that okay. should take care, that should of, take care of it. Now, for the last question on the Internet Movie Database, I have got an answer on my PC. Very good. I, oh, I, sh great. I should have had this memorized because I used to go to it about a year ago, but uh, the URL has changed. It's got an awesome URL now. It is www.imdb.com. That stands for Internet Mu Music or Movie Database, IMDb. Right in the middle of the screen. DB. Internet, Internet Movie, Movie Database. database. And okay. this is so cool. I'm going to click search the database here. And you can search based on uh, a type of movie. You can search on an actor. Uh, you can pretty much uh, director. You name it. 
Well, let's do it. And you can. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that happened when we moved studios, we also got longer phone cords, and I don't think I'm connected as fast as I used to be. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do uh, Chase Chevy because I love Fletch. Awesome movie. Well, he's got a new movie out that um That too. Vacation. I, I, Vegas. 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 I think Vegas that's vacation. pretty Yeah, that's pretty cool. I know Fletch sold one ticket. It must have been you, Dave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that movie got me through college. Lar gave me a look. <laughs> Be nice. I am nice. But through this database, you can do uh, uh, cross checks on uh, you name it, what, what movies they've been in, where they started. And it shows up all the different movies that uh, they were in. That's right. Look at that up there at the top. Washed up celebrity to find. How oh, funny. that's funny. Scott Bale. <laughs> <laughs> if you wondered where they went, you could find them oh, at this wow. site. It's pretty bad, but it's really neat. www.imdb.com. And there's quote of the day. That's How funny. actually thought, pretty I'd good. So you can too. search that I'm by go people look at and that stuff. Tonight. That, that is a good one. I like that a lot. Let's go to our next call. Let's go to line two with Dan in Keller, Texas. Hi, Dan. Welcome to the show. My right chair. Dan, are you there? Hi, Dan. Dan on line two, Dan Keller, the, Texas. Dan the man. I think we actually lost him. Let's oh, let's go to our next call. Let's go to line three. Let's go to Joe in Garland. Hi, Joe. You are on the air. Well, I'm here. I'm, hey. I'm coming to get that new computer next week. <laughs> <laughs> think it has positive. your name on it, Joe. It has your name on it. All right. What can uh, we do for you? My, I go into Netscape. I've got Netscape, which you're probably going to say I shouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> I go into Netscape here, and I go into Netscape Mail. And when I go into my email and want to check my mail, it says that one of my mail folders is wasting a lot of space. Okay. And to, do I want to compress? And I don't know what to do. Oh. That's an interesting question. So, okay, we're going to find out if Joe needs to compress his mail. And we're going to see how to answer this question in Netscape. We're going to find out if it's unique to Netscape or other browsers. You hang on. We're going to a break. Call a friend. Tell them to tune in. We got more to tell you in this break about the West End. And when we come back, Laura's going to be doing another cool site. Another site. We're going to be having a lot of fun. We'll be right back after this very, very brief message. Hey, NetHeads, Joe Vaughn here. And if you haven't signed up for a Net Talk Live's live broadcast from the Dallas West End next Sunday, that's March 2nd, next Sunday, let me give you two more reasons you need to go sign up right now. One, we're going to be giving away computers, scanners, color copiers, digital cameras, and almost $100,000 in box software as prizes. Additionally, every person who attends is going to receive the NetTalk Live Microsoft CD featuring Microsoft Internet Explorer and over $2,000 worth of fun, exciting, and useful software. How about titles like, fully licensed now, Microsoft Publisher 97. Microsoft Money 97. You're going to get those titles and many others just for showing up next Sunday, March 2nd, to our live broadcast at the Dallas West End. Also, if you've signed up your friends, remember, because you can invite four, please ask them to go to our website and sign up their guests for themselves so we can make sure that everyone who attends gets their $2,000 software package. So sign up, and we'll see you next Sunday live from the Dallas West End. The stuff you've got to see is on Real TV. Why would this woman dive into shark-infested waters? And what possible reason would she spread food on her arm to get their attention? Then 6,000 horses under the hood get out of control. You try going 170 to nothing in a few seconds flat. Plus, check out the bell bottoms on Gary Shandling. Betcha he wished we hadn't dug up this one. Remember, if it's caught on tape, it's on Real TV. Monday, 6.30 on Hot TV 27. Hi, I'm Alan Wong, and in February, we celebrate Chinese New Year. Family and friends come together to honor age-old traditions, and one tradition is to honor each of the 12 lunar cycles by naming it after an animal, such as the snake, the monkey, the tiger. And in 1997, it's the year of the ox. Chinese New Year, another thread in our rich Texas tapestry brought to you by Fox 4. Some fans think hockey comes naturally to Mike Madonna. The fact is, it took a lifetime of commitment, years of hard work, and countless practice shots. Cold ice, cool game, hot TV. Is this in my contract? 
The hottest shot is Stars Hockey on Hot TV 27. If you have this on your current web browser, and if you want to fully experience all the internet has to offer, and have the full power of sound, motion, and color of the World Wide Web, then there is only one thing you should do. This. Microsoft's Internet Explorer makes surfing the net, news groups, and email fun and easy. Even for us newbies. Internet Explorer has all the cool tools and features, and best of all, it's absolutely free. Get smart. Download Internet Explorer now. To buzz. If you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? I'd get new teeth. <laughs> or not to buzz. So don't you buzz me. That is the question. Uh, what's the biggest lie you ever told a guy? I'm going out with my friend. <laughs> The game where fast-talking, quick-thinking singles get the date of their dream. <laughs> so make a date <laughs> with Buzz. Weeknights at 11 on Hot TV 27. Remember 1974? On Friday nights, you were probably watching... This is Jim Rockford. At the tone, leave your name and message. I'll get back to you. The Rockford Files, with good old-fashioned fist fights, fast gas-guzzling cars, and even pay toilets. Well, the 70s may be over, but Rocky, Dennis, and Jim rock on. Give me a dime. I'm going to crack you open like a piggy bank. The Rockford Files are still hot. Weeknights at 11.30 on Hot TV 27. We're back with the world's first live triple cast. It's Net Talk Live. If you'd like to become a sponsor of Net Talk or have your website or computer product shown on the air, just give us a call. Well, it's 1045. Do you know where your computer is? <laughs> well, it's probably dialed in right to this show right here at nettalklive.com. We want to let you know tonight, folks, it's really a little bit different here. We normally, you know, the phone lines are packed when you call in, um, but the phone numbers to know are 214-787-1570. That's 214-787-1570. We are not using the 800 line. So if you call in on a normal 800 line for tonight's show, you're not going to make it to air. Because? Real simple. 787-1570 is the number reason. Used. It's because there's a Mavericks game going on on the West Coast, and we are a radio station here as well, although you see us on TV. And this is the flagship, 570 KLF is the flagship station for the Mavericks, and we had to toss a coin for which lines we were going to use <laughs> and which line the Mavericks were going to use. Yeah, right. Okay. We did. We actually did. did. Really? I actually had to get with John Shomby as the program you director really here tossed and, a coin? Beg, and beg, please, 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 you know, we need, we need these lines because we have all these 10 lines and stuff jammed in here and it's kind of the way it goes during the show and stuff. And so many people call in, Laura, that uh, we really had to literally arm wrestle for lines so uh, that's pretty funny <laughs> that really is so the Mavericks got the 800 line and the prize line and we got the main line 787-1570 <laughs> and a new prize line which is what kind of what we for had this to do evening tonight. Only. For, the, for this evening only so it's a little different right. configuration this evening so uh, anyway um, <laughs> okay Mark we got to go back and we got to answer this question real quick he was talking about he was using Netscape and he was using the mail in Netscape and he was talking about compressing his files what was going on there yeah what happens is the mail program will and news does it too I believe is that as you're downloading your mail and stuff it takes up X amount of space on the drive and it eventually starts realizing and actually it's a really nice thing that it does it says hey I'm using a lot of dead space let me compress this and clean it up a little bit go ahead and click yes absolutely what it does is just a kind of a cleanup procedure that it does because it it keeps it in track of it kind of like a database does so it has to do some cleanup work behind itself click yes you're good to go and it'll save you some space on your hard drive and so you it's, it's actually a good thing to do yes in so that in that sense, it's very different than doing that. Like last week, we were warning people. Well, at least I'd say, do not compress your hard drive. Uh, that's very different. This is a program that's actually just doing a cleanup of uh, the the file space that it is using to store your email messages. So that's okay. Okay. Well, let's go to our yeah. next caller real quick. Let's go to line four. Let's go to Steve in Dallas. Hi, Steve. Welcome to the show. You're on Net Talk Live. Hey, thank you. Hey, hey uh, bought a new system, and I have both the Microsoft Explorer and the uh, Netscape Navigator. Okay. And I've just always used uh, AOL. And so my question, I hear you all talking about these other 
uh, browsers, can I use those through AOL, or is that strictly if you have a direct Internet provider? You know, that's a good that's a good question. We get that, uh, you know, AOL has its own proprietary America browser. America Online. America Online, right, right, has its own proprietary browser and stuff. But uh, now they want to know if they can go outside. So, Mark, can you actually, let's say Internet Explorer, can you use Internet Explorer with America Online? Absolutely. If you're using the America Online 3.0 version, uh, is that the version that you have? Is the caller still there? I anyway, if you're using the 3.0 version of America Online, yes, you can use the Internet Explorer. There are some instructions on America Online that tell you how to set that up so you can actually browse the web when you go out off of the America Online out onto the web. You can use your Internet Explorer and get all the same features and benefits just as though you were having uh, a direct connection through an Internet service provider. So, yeah. So, Mark, is there any is there any advantage to using a, uh, instead of using the America Online browser that they give you, is there any advantage, although it doesn't have a direct should we say necessarily connection to the internet? Is there an advantage to using uh, something like Internet Explorer, a, you know, a beefed up, better browser? Absolutely, especially when it comes to viewing today's web pages. Uh, I mean, websites today are full of cascading style sheets and multimedia events and audio and video and all those things, and you have to have a top of the line browser to view those. Internet Explorer is one of them, it's probably the leader in the brands today. Okay, folks, will you hang tight? Go call a friend. Tell them to tune in and pump up this March 2nd event because it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. We're going to have fun. It's the largest Internet event of its kind. You're going to be part of it. We'll be right back after this very, very brief message. Hey, NetHeads, Mark Markham, your webhead here, with a special surprise for you. Look what I've got. This is a Gold Master, a Gold Master CD-ROM. I sent one of these off to cut your free copy of the CD-ROM software you're going to receive when you register and attend our live broadcast next Sunday night from the Dallas West End Marketplace. Here's what you're going to get on the CD-ROM. The NetTalk Live Custom Internet Explorer, both for PCs and for you Power Mac users. We have Microsoft's Office 97 full feature trial kit version. We have Microsoft's front page, Microsoft Publisher 97, Money 97, even NT Server 4.0, fully licensed just for you. We've got Microsoft Net Meeting, Comic Chat, Perch IRC Client. We have WinZip and McAfee's Antivirus for you, and so much more. Here's what you got to do. Go to our website at www.nettalklive.com and click on the icon that says, Join us March 2nd. Fill out the form and get registered. We'll see you next Sunday. Come get your free CD-ROM. Monday and Good Day Dallas have a really great show for you. Lisa Hart will be here to show us exercises for the face. Tone up those sagging muscles. Mm -hmm. Also, the car guy talks about getting your car ready for the big trip. Oh, we're going to a luxury spa as well. We're going to have some of the facials for teenagers and massages for pregnant mothers. The news starts at 5. We're here 6 till... His name is John Wetland. He's the World Series MVP. And this season, he's on our team. The Texas Rangers are swinging for a World Series home run. And Port Charlotte, Florida is first base. Join our team for Rangers spring training action tonight on Fox 4 Sports. You always hurt. TV 27. Freedom. Its cost in human casualties to veterans of 20th century battles has been dear. For the many who suffer trauma to mind and body, an even bigger fear is that they'll be forgotten. What they need most is for Americans to share a simple, kind word, a phone call, a card, or a visit to a VA hospital. Do the right thing. Show of that you remember how much they sacrificed to keep our country free.
gets you closer to this ride called life. Closer to what's really going on. Yeah. Nobody gets you closer than Fox 4 News. Nobody. You can make a real impact on someone's life just by donating an unwanted vehicle. That's right, Mike. Your car, van, or truck, running or not, can help the Kidney Foundation help others. And the tax deduction you'll receive may just help you. From a classic to any car whose time has come, they can all make a difference in fighting kidney disease. And the Kidney Foundation will pick up the donated vehicle for free. Become a real champion just by donating your car. Call 1-800-441-1281. We're back. It's the world's best live triple cast. If you or your company needs an exciting and effective website created, then you need the best web development team in the business. The cast and crew of Net Talk Live. Net Talk Live will create a highly effective website for you or your business. Just give us a call at 800-673-3836. That's 800-673-3836. Follow along with the broadcast of Net Talk Live by going to our homepage at www.nettalklive.com. To send email during the show, address it to nettalk at nettalklive.com. Okay, well, we're back. Here it is Sunday night. We're teaching you the Internet. And the World Wide Web, I want to say some of the names of the people we have on chat. I think we've got it on Mark's computer. We need to show kind of chat going on. We've got it. I want to say hi to Atlantis and Darwin and Fun One and Ice Princes and Blaze, InfoWiz, Bozo, Pelican, Texman, and RTREV64. Cool. Cool. Those are all the people's <laughs> handles on chat. And actually, there's 100 plus people in there, but I couldn't say them all in that short period of time. Speaking of uh, nifty things going on in the net, you know, Dave Matthews, our gadget guy, has uh, something for us. Dave, what are you going to show us tonight? I'm going to show us how to make dialing into the internet just a little bit faster. And I also know how to uh, use America Online with Netscape or with Microsoft Explorer or any other application, whether it's internet, phone, on and on. I found a uh, fact through Yahoo. I did a search for uh, Which means FAQ. FAQ, frequently asked questions. Right. Uh, it is how to use WinSock with America Online. And all you need to do is do a, a find on your computer's hard drive for a file called winsock.dll. When you find this file, copy it to your Windows directory. That's backslash Windows. And WinSock stands for Windows Socket, right? Yeah, that's right, Jovan. Sockets are what puts your computer on the Internet. So once you have the Windows Sockets, then you can do anything else. Uh, and copy that to your Windows directory, and that means every application, whether, like I said, internet phone or Microsoft browser, you name it, can now use the, uh, the AOL dialer, which is pretty cool. Oh, cool. So now what I'm going to do is show you guys how to, to dial in to the network faster if you are using Windows 95 dial-up networking. What you need to do is double-click on my computer, and once my computer comes up, you'll get this second icon. Double-click on, con oops, I'm sorry, dial-up networking, and you'll get this little box over here as I click on it. Okay. I've got a CompuNet dial-in on this machine. So what's really neat about Windows 95 is right-clicking, which is your second mouse button, right-clicking on an item lets you change properties of it. So slide on to Properties, and what you need to do is look at this button called Server Type. This is what's important. Click on Server Type, and you see I've got six checkboxes of different settings that I can use. The first one we want to make sure is turned off is log on to network. This is only useful if you have a Windows NT network. Most people are just calling on the internet so they can uncheck that box. We want to turn on software compression, so we're going to leave checkbox two on. We don't need an encrypted password. That's another Windows NT function. And the only protocol we need if we're just using the internet, meaning we're not trying to dial into the office from home, is this TCP IP protocol. And that's the protocol the internet uses. And so how much time will this save, Dave, if these are checked right? Th this could save anywhere from uh, 7 to 45, 50 seconds every time you dial in. So wow. it could be pretty significant. That's pretty good. So, folks, hang tight. We're going into another break. This is our shortest segment of the night. Call a friend. Tell them to tune in. we got more on the West End. And coming up in the next break, we got a $50 gift certificate to Communication Expo. <laughs> and we'll be back in 5, 4, 3, 2. We'll be right back. 
I used to use Netscape. I now use Microsoft Internet Explorer. I used to use Netscape, and I now use Microsoft Internet Explorer. I switched to Internet Explorer because we put it to the test, and Internet Explorer is the better browser. I switched to Internet Explorer because it's easier to use, has everything the other browser has, and it's free. Absolutely free. Isn't it time you switch? It's easy. Just go to this website. And click on this logo, and your computer does the rest. Get smart. Get Internet Explorer. Download it now. It's free. I did it. I, you know, I could have said no, I could have walked away, and I did it. Amy Fisher. So I just feel like everybody hates me. Her mother. I really don't think that she was had the ability at 16 to think it through. And Geraldo Rivera, the interview from prison. How many times do you allege that you have been raped in this facility? No more. I'm very, very concerned about her safety. Next Geraldo Rivera Show. Monday at 1 on Hot TV 27. Eight full hours of non-stop Bach. The Texas Independence Day Music Festival rocks the Bronco Bowls Canyon Club Saturday, March 8th. All night long, you'll jam to Cold Blue Steel and other great Texas bands. Celebrate Texas Independence Day Saturday, March 8th. For tickets, call the festival hotline at 214-823-3966. Sponsored in part by Fox 4, Hot TV 27, Buddy and Budweiser. What's hot tomorrow? Hot TV. On Hot TV 27. Tomorrow night at 7 on Poltergeist The Legacy. An ancient evil force is unleashed upon mankind, and only a secret group called The Legacy can fight it. Don't turn out the lights. Tomorrow night at 7, watch Poltergeist The Legacy. If it's hot, you've got to watch. Hot TV 27, tomorrow night. This is the special report you've been waiting for. You'd go through and just try to use scare tactics. Exclusive. The whole game was to get them to sign up right now. Undercover. Did it feel like it was high pressure? Investigative. I felt, I felt dirty. I couldn't stand it. If this is the way a former employee felt, how would you feel? I think they're lower than dirt. Is a major pest control company preying on your vulnerabilities? I-Team reporter Becky Oliver with a Fox 4 News special report. The Real Pests, tomorrow at 10. What's Marvin doing in the garage? Helping Bobby make an electromagnet for his school science project. Marvin knows about electromagnets? Picked it up on the internet. I didn't know Marvin was into computers. He's not. Finally, a way onto the Internet for people who aren't way into computers. New Southwestern Bell Internet Service. With unlimited access, you can actually access. Live from Dallas, Texas, broadcast worldwide, it's the world's first interactive triple cast. Watch on Hot TV KDFI Channel 27, the live broadcast from the studios of 570 KLIF Radio and sent worldwide via audio net. It's Net Talk Live with your co-host, Laura Lewis. Gadget Guy, Dave Matthews. Webhead, Mark Markham. And your tour guide to the internet and host of Net Talk, Jovan. Net Talk Live is brought to you by Microsoft. Developers of the world's leading computer software, including the Internet's smartest web browser, Internet Explorer. Get smart. Download your free copy of Internet Explorer now. Communication Expo, your one-stop, low-price communication superstore. Communication Expo, the first 20,000-square-foot communication superstore. Visit us in North Dallas at Beltline and the Toll Road. Sponsored in part by... Computer Currents Magazine, your source for computing in the real world. Visit us on the World Wide Web at Currents.net. Sponsored in part by CityView.com, your local information and entertainment source. Visit us on the World Wide Web at CityView.com. So boot up your computer, grab your mouse, and join in the fun. Learning about the Internet and the World Wide Web. Follow along with the broadcast of Net Talk Live by going to our homepage at www.nettalklive.com. To send email during the show, address it to nettalk at nettalklive.com. There's MP. 
MP, we got you the like. Turn around, Assistant Director. There you go. So, Nancy, I got your email when I told you that we wanted to fix up OMP there. Well, there he is in the light. I got your email. We're going to make him respond to you. <laughs> there he is. Turn to the camera, MP. Come on. There you go. Wave. Wave. Say La hi. Last week. Wave. Smile. Last wave. Week. Wave to Nancy. Say hi. If you weren't, in, if you weren't here <laughs> last week, we said that uh, Javon uh, just uh, suddenly said to MP over the air we were going to fix him up. Yeah, we were we were kind of giving MP a hard time, but uh, <laughs> being the single fellow that he is, and very and I, sweet, and very nice, great guy. And I mentioned on the air, you know, <laughs> really? he's, he, I said we need to fix this guy up. We need to find him a great woman to date that uh, since he does net stuff you know that was kind of familiar with the net so we got this email when I kind of mentioned it on the air we got this email for him and so since our control rooms kind of moved this time they're out in a lot of light I wanted all those ladies out there that were sending an MP email to kind of get a good look in the light. So, <laughs> Javon's dating game. That's true. And, and are we going to do that sometime? We, we are going to do an internet dating game show. One one show. We have to And it's going to be all about finding uh, dates on and the even net. Even like stuff. a little so fifteen minute segment. We've got to we've got to do that. And one we good must. way to do it is in chat. Here's all the people in in some of the chat. Magnum and Mike and Mitch and Rob Texas and Rush and Scott and Sydney. I mean. There it is, all the Darius people on Matt. So that's enough with uh, chat going on. We have all those people flying by and chat and different stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, this, uh, I just want to let people know this West End event is going to be a huge, 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 huge event. You need to come to it on March 2nd. And I want to tell you right now, tonight's a little different because we're limited on the phone lines because what's going on with the Mavericks game. So that's why if you're not being able to get through in limited lines tonight, we, we apologize for that. But don't use the 800 number because the 800 number is not going to be good for the show tonight. Please just use the 214-787-1570. We know they're busy. That's just the way it goes, and that's just the way it is. Also, if you're online tonight, I want to let you know, yes, we know the server is slow tonight. And the reason is we're getting absolutely hammered because so many people are watching the show, surfing to the website, scrambling to fill out for the West End since now they have more details of what's on that CD. Be patient. We know the server is slow. And hammered means? It, hammered. Ha Mark Markham, <laughs> our web guy, what would you describe as going on with the website tonight? Uh, it's probably being absolutely ripped apart and shredded by millions <laughs> of people I hope it is um, actually if you think about it here's one website one set of files and directories that is being accessed by thousands of people simultaneously at the same time asking for pages for images for downloading files they're filling out forms I mean there it, it's you, you just have to stop and think about it. there's like 20 or 30 or 50 or 60 or 100 thousand people accessing this one set of files at the exact same time or you know within a real short time frame here in two hours um, it, can I tell them? Yeah, because we, we actually get anywhere from a quarter of a million hits to more on a, during a two-hour time frame during the show. And that's a lot of people uh, on hammered. one website. So hence and that means the hammered. term means <laughs> hammered. Yes. Hammered. And by the way, hammered time. And, and that, you know what, Javon, by the way, I, wanna, I, I have a little complaint. I gave out a uh, website a couple weeks ago for the Valentine's Day thing, worldvillage.com cards. And I told them, I said, you guys better rectify this. I received like six different little Valentine things. I was never able to access them. I don't know how many people out there uh, uh. I referred you to go to the site. But I got to tell you, I'm sorry. I have nothing to do with it. But I'm mad at worldvillage.com and and uh, I've still got my little numbers I'm trying to receive my valentines and wasn't able to access them that so happened to me with Dallas News I don't know if well. that you know I don't know Why? what that has to do with Dave you know I don't, or Mark I don't know what does that have to do with it they just get so overwhelmed by requests it's, or? it's tricky you have to enter a special code and the, the codes have to match up with who sent it the valentine because everything's stored on the remote server so basically you're calling up a file name and if everything's not perfect and that file doesn't exist, or it j just gets into lots and lots of different problems. So, Well, that, that just drove me nuts. So I had to file that press complaint right there. But uh, <laughs> listen, Javon, could I, could, may I go to my, my site, one of my sites right now? Sure, let's go. What do you got? Uh, I would like to go. Jeff, are we able to show the electronic zoo up on the screen? Um, if you, There it is, the electronic zoo. When you said electronic zoo, I was, I was thinking it was going to be photographs of us doing the show uh -huh, or something. Ha, uh ha, -huh. <laughs> yes. That's, yeah, okay, I'm no comment on my part there. But anyway, Anyway, uh, this is kind of fun. Go to Laura's Picks on the uh, our website, and you can pull up this 
uh, the electronic zoo. And actually, what it is, if you want to scroll down, right there, stop right there, see what you can show right there. They have all different categories of every single animal that you can imagine, Javon. Of course, you know I'm interested in getting a dachshund eventually. You know, if I want to get into a place where I can have a little dachshund. And I, and I went ahead and I looked up dachshunds, and there was like all these folks that have dachshunds online. But I'll tell you where I had the most fun on this site, by the way. It's down at the bottom, Jeff, is it's got the little fictional animals there. So it says fictional. See, there's like a cartoon cat there. I went in there. The bottom, the second one to the, from the right, is I went in. I looked at Felix the Cat. I looked at, um, there's somebody has something called Space Dog on the Internet. It's kind of fun. It's some folks that have created a, a cartoon movie type thing. And I don't know if there's a movie that's actually out there or if they've created this and they want to get funding for it. But I just had a blast surfing through this site. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that right now because of what's going on uh, with uh, the computers right now and everything. But it's a great, great, fun, fun site. So go to Laura's Picks. Check out the elect electronic zoo and and uh, if you, for all you animal lovers out there, which I'm an animal lover, I know Javon's an animal lover, you'll have great fun at this site. So let's see, this week it was Dotsons, and last week it was Sugar Gliders, <laughs> and what's going to be the Lars oh, Animal Pick next I week? Forgot, I forgot, I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Actually, I was going to look at fish, because I just set up a fish, fish tank this past week, but fish was rather boring, you know. Uh, well, you know, there's uh, that camera on the web where you can watch the guy's fist tank. It's called Fish Cam. I tried to Remember find that, that, actually. I thought that would be a fun site to look at. So I'll, I'll try to d find that for us uh, in a future show. Okay, well, let's take a call. Let's go to line one. Let's go to Bart in yes, Dallas. Hey, Bart. Welcome to Net Talk Live. Hi, Laura. Hey. Not wait, 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 Bart. Well, thank you. You didn't say hi to me. <laughs> Is this Mark or Dave or Siobhan? <laughs> <laughs> all hey. of us. Say hey. hi to all of us. How are y'all doing? Great, thanks. Um, I love your show. Thank you. I'll Thank see you all Sunday. I'm bringing about 10 friends. All right. Uh, Outstanding. And uh, I've got kind of a, maybe a stupid question. Okay. Okay. Um, on my hard drive, uh, C, Windows, Options, Cab. Okay. I've got about 34 megabytes of cab files. Are they necessary? Good well, question. You know, you know, Dave. Dave, what is a cab file, Dave? Cabs are what Windows 95 uses. What it stands for is a cabinet. And think of it as your file cabinet in your house has all your important papers in it. Well, Windows 95 cabinets are where all of the accessory files that Windows uses are stored on a hard drive. Now, whether or not you should delete them or not, it, it does take up 34 megs. But think of it like this: if you have Windows on floppy disk or Windows on CD-ROM. Then and they're always available to you. you. You always know when you can get them, and you keep that disk as your sacred disk. You won't have any problem deleting these cabinet files. But if you have a habit of losing your software like I do, or if you have a laptop and you, you could be out in the field and need a special driver when you're away from your CD-ROM, then it's a great place to look in that Windows Options cab directories, and you've got the cabinets there already for you. So it's your call. If you're real good with your software originals, then go ahead and delete it. If not, I'd keep them there. So the, the rule is kind of a good, safe rule of thumb, Dave, is to, to keep them there, right? That's, that's right. That's right. And just go for a bigger hard drive. There you go. That's right? Nice. And that take care of just it? Spend, just spend another 150 bucks, right? That's right. That's it. Okay, Bart. Well, we'll <laughs> see you uh, live at the West End. And, Bart, you are, are you still there, Bart? Yes, sir. Let's spot him up. Um, Bart, what did you think about that software list that you're going to get for showing up? Well, I, you guys doubled yourself in a week. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it's great. You know, and we only have one. This is the only show we have left until that, and I know Mark is working to put even more in there, but aren't those titles absolutely amazing? They really are good. I have a lot of friends who have uh, Macintosh. Uh huh. And they're a little bit concerned. That, uh, uh, Mac guys are going to be taken care of. Mark, great. Mark, what? Mark, you have a bunch of titles for Mac folks, right? Let's see. We got to get Mark's mic up. Oh. There we go. Hello. Hey, there, you go. there we go. Live oh, audio. Um, if, uh, if they'll go to the website and take a look at the prizes.html, go to nettalklive.com forward slash prizes.html. What that will give you is a list of all the stuff that we've kind of uh, brought together thus far. And there's a bunch of stuff we've got for Macintosh people. We've got Luis has been absolutely working day and night over the past week, couple of weeks, gathering up stuff for Macintosh as well. Uh, we're going to have more software than we're going to know what to do with. Yeah, we got $100,000 just worth of Windows box software that we're giving away, not even the CD-ROM software that we're giving away, Laura. So your Mac guys, we're going to have some special drawing for Mac folks. We're going to even put you in a special section a very really? special section yep. just I'm for the Mac folks. I am impressed, guys. Okay. So, so Javon, are you segregating? Be. What is this? Uh, <laughs> Separate but equal. Uh, <laughs> I think the Mac. I, I was almost tempted to say a 
special separate padded area, no, but I did. No, no. No. <laughs> I think the Mac I think the Mac folks will love it. I think they'll love being in their own section. We're gonna guarantee. Have, we're gonna do it differently because you know all the stuff's gonna be given by numbered ticket, but for the Mac folk Mac folks we're gonna handle differently out there and we, we really went all out for the Mac folks to get you some incredible stuff. Uh, to go on your uh, Mac computers. Yeah, so. yeah Louis, I, I've got to say, Javon, that Luis really, really worked hard on it. And we miss having him here tonight, but he did a great job for you people. He drove me crazy. <laughs> Every time I'm talking to somebody about software, did you ask him about the Mac stuff? Did you ask him about the Mac version? Wait, and Mark, he's not German. I love it. What were you okay. trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Next. He's, he's Puerto Rican. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Yeah, Wonderful I'm accent. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's go to our next call. Let's see. Let's go to line four. Let's go to Linda in Balt Springs. Hi, Linda. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hey. Uh, my question is, I want to buy a new computer, and I also want to take the old programs out of the old computer and transfer it to the new. Okay. How do I do this? Ah. Well, I know the answer for Macintosh, <laughs> but uh, what is it for a PC? Well, let's go over to Mark Markham, our webhead Mark Markham. Mark, how would you answer a question? Hey, you know, I've got to tell you, last week Javon and I were, he was telling you earlier about we were out goofing around, and one of the things we got was a zip drive, because we had to zip up all the stuff we were putting on the CD-ROM. And you know, there, it's great, the zip drive has this program called Copy a Program in it, and you get to copy all these programs. Uh, the cheapest way that I've found to do it is to use like a zip drive or maybe a tape drive. And you can go to like Communications Expo. I don't know, Dave, I'm sure that they've got them over there. Uh, you can go ahead and get them. They're relatively cheap, usually under $200. You can get you a good zip drive or a tape drive. Back up your system. You know, back it up onto a tape or onto a zip drive. That get your new save computer. It, right? That, that's right. right. Okay. But save it very specially. Okay. It's going to save it pre-configured. It's going to save it in the right order and all the right files right where it's supposed to be and it's going to remember where everything is supposed to go when it goes to put it back. And then for her, her new computer she just drops the zip drive That's in right. it and then puts the tape in and basically hits a command and it sucks it right back That's up right. into the system. The, yeah, the zip uses a little disk. It's kind of cool because it's real easy to plug it in. It plugs right into a printer port and you can do your backup and then throw away your old computer, hook it up to your new computer, stick in this little floppy drive and boom, you'll be uh, uploading to nothing flat. So, so it's that's, really easy. So zip drive's the way to do it. Anyway, folks, get ready for a treasure hunt. I'm going to send you on a treasure hunt real quick. You're going to start out, of course, at cityview.com. This is a treasure hunt. You're going to like this one. It's for a $50 gift certificate to Communication Expo. So here we go. Hey, Chat Chick Kim Adams here, and it's time for another cityview.com treasure hunt. Here's what you'll win. A $50 gift certificate to Communication Expo. Here's what you do. Go to cityview.com. Dallas and find the site that would help you out of a jam. Traffic jam, that is. Be the third caller to our prize hotline at 214-263-1230 with the name of the site, the traffic areas for the Metroplex it covers, and you win. Cut line four. Cut line four. Oops. I'm going here to Mark. Hello. Shh, your mic's live. Your mic's live. <laughs> oh, y'all. Is there a mic there? Javon, I got, I've got another uh, <laughs> live, it, live TV this is different making Javon studio. sweat tonight. <laughs> it is actually You're driving sweating. me absolutely Just relax. Nuts. Just kind of go with Javon, it, Javon. Here, cool off. I got something to say. From, no, I didn't Let's mean it like that. Those, <laughs> get him one of those headbands that you freeze, you know, stick it on his head. They don't yeah. make headbands <laughs> wide enough for my forehead, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another. There's a lot of real estate up there. See that? Yeah. Anyway, what you got, Dave? I've got another one for our line four question. A zip drive is a $200 piece of hardware. It's kind of expensive to do just a one-time shot transfer. Uh, there's a program called LapLink, and it's a cable and software. I think it's going to run about $40 to $50, and this does the same thing. So you don't have to have the uh, added investment that you would in a zip drive for just this one-time deal. And Jovan, by the way, when we come back, I was just smiling all the way through it because for Macintosh, it's a lot easier than that. <laughs> huh? Huh? Well, what I'm you sure when we come back, Laura, right. Laura is going to tell us no. what it takes to do on a Macintosh. She's going to teach you how to reformat your drive. I am not How to partition <laughs> your hard drives, how to zip everything up, all when we come back for Laura's Mac lesson using a <laughs> We'll be right back. Hey, NetHeads, Joe Vaughn here, and if you haven't signed up for a Net Talk Live's live broadcast from the Dallas West End next Sunday, that's March 2nd, next Sunday, let me give you two more reasons you need to go sign up right now. One, we're going to be giving away computers, scanners, color copiers, 
digital cameras and almost $100,000 in box software as prizes. Additionally, every person who attends is going to receive the NetTalk Live Microsoft CD featuring Microsoft Internet Explorer and over $2,000 worth of fun, exciting, and useful software. How about titles like, fully licensed now, Microsoft Publisher 97, Microsoft Money 97. You're going to get those titles and many others just for showing up next Sunday, March 2nd, to our live broadcast at the Dallas West End. Also, if you signed up your friends, remember, because you can invite four, please ask them to go to our website and sign up their guests for themselves so we can make sure that everyone who attends gets their $2,000 software package. So sign up, and we'll see you next Sunday live from the Dallas West End. On the next heat of the night. If that girl killed her parents and hid the bodies, that's news. It's front page news. When a house gives up its dead. We located your father. How long is he dead? A year. A girl will go to any lengths. The evidence all points to her. I didn't do it. I didn't. To hide her father's last supper in the heat of the night. Monday at 4 on Hot TV 27. My philosophy is get all of the education that you can. My motto is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In some 40 years of teaching music education and band in the Dallas Public Schools, I encourage all students to take advantage of all of the extracurricular activities afforded you. Music, athletics, and foreign language. Allison Tucker, a living legend and another threat in our rich Texas tapestry. Brought to you by Fox 4 and the Junior Black Academy of Arts and Letters. You want Dallas Cowboys? We got them. You want fun and games? They're here. You want hard to find memorabilia? No sweat. You're short on cash? No problem, it's free. I'm George Dunham. And I'm Craig Miller. We're from The Ticket, and if you're a sports fan, then don't be a goober and miss this. Ticket Stop, starting Friday through Sunday at the Dallas Convention Center. Thanks to Fox 4 Sports and Sports Radio 1310, The Ticket. If you have this on your current web browser, and if you want to fully experience all the internet has to offer, and have the full power of sound, motion, and color of the World Wide Web, then there is only one thing you should do. This. Microsoft Internet Explorer makes surfing the net, news groups, and email fun and easy. Even for us newbies. Internet Explorer has all the cool tools and features, and best of all, it's absolutely free. Get smart. Download Internet Explorer now. Hot TV asks, do you know which witch? Which witch flies on a big brown broom? Which witch drives a big ugly tank? Which witch casts a spell with the twitch of her nose? Which witch downs brew when things get rough? Which witch has a meddling mother? Which witch is the meddling mother? Two witches, a bag full of tricks. A double dose of Mama's Family brewed around Bewitched. Weeknights at 5 on KDFI Hot TV 27. Next on Springer, Jerry's in Schenectady, New York, to moderate a town meeting with one hot topic. Should adult clubs like this be permitted in residential communities? The debate gets heated. This town is going to hell because of places like this. If you don't want to go there, don't, you don't go. have to. Yeah. Wayne's wife works in the clubs. My wife here is a dancer, not a prostitute. A town at war. What would you do if this was your neighborhood? Next, Jerry Springer. Monday at 9 on Hot TV 27. We're back. It's the world's best live triple cast. If you or your company needs an exciting and effective website created, then you need the best web development team in the business. The cast and crew of Net Talk Live. Net Talk Live will create a highly effective website for you or your business. Just give us a call at 800-673-3836. That's 800-673-3836. Follow along with the broadcast of Net Talk Live by going to our homepage at www.nettalklive.com. To send email during the show, address it to nettalk at nettalklive.com. Well, there you go. It's beautiful. Downtown Dallas, looking at multiple reflections in the window there. And we've got, there's the ball. And we're having a ball right here. 
bringing you this television show through these mighty cameras, and we're in segment seven. And uh, just so I start off segment seven right, uh, I'm sorry, Laura. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was very good. Thank you. And the only thing I'm going to say about that is, as y'all were going on and on about her question was about how to transfer programs and files from one computer to another. All I know is a big selling point for me was I have a Macintosh and I want to get another Macintosh. And you know I'm sold on it. Don't fall asleep on me, Jovan. And a big selling point was, is, and I can't even explain it, that Luis said that I can just hook up my computer to the other one some way and it just sort of transfers data, boom, just like that. We stop it. I'm sorry. I just ate between the breaks. <laughs> but, Jovan, you even, had, you even had, one of those, you had one of those little Apple little notebook things at I, one time. I have a Newton. Yes. And Newtons are absolutely fantastic, and my first two computers were Apples. And, and the reason it's so cool is that it can transfer data. This little Apple Newton little notepad thing, which I really would love to have one of those, is you can sit even... Hint. No, hint, seriously. Hint. hint from, for anybody. But uh, you can... Okay, anybody who wants to send Laura an Apple Newton, Jovan, please do. <laughs> this doesn't matter anymore now. You can place them even like, what, nine feet apart, Jovan? They can still transfer data between uh -huh. each other via infrared. I yeah, think that you, is the yeah, coolest you can do thing. That. What you can do is you can take small files, very small files, not large, large, huge ones, but right. you can send small files back and forth. And actually, that Apple Newton can communicate with a PC. So it's bilingual. Mm -hmm. It not only talks Mac, it talks PC. But it's very neat. You had to bring up, one up here one night and show how you can draw on it. And I mean, it's just a fun, it's a I fun little it, gadget. I haven't used it in a long while. I, yes. I, I, I will definitely have to yes. do that. Yes. Anyway, let's go to our next call. Let's go to line. Uh, let's go to line three. Let's go to Ken N. McKinney. Hi, Hello. Ken. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're on Net Talk Live. Um, I've got one line, phone line, coming into the house just for the computers, and I've got three computers in the house. All right. Um, my son has hooked up um, network cards in all three of the computers, so they're networked together. Okay. We use one Internet service, and a lot of times we're all on it at the same time. Now, my son keeps on telling me that I need to get an IS. DN line. Now, what is the ISDN line, and why do I need one? You know, that's a good question, mm -hmm. and basically what it is, Ken, is it's really super speed, and we have two speed freaks amongst us, so let's go to our first speed freak. Let's go over to Dave Matthews, who is the master of ISDN, because not only can he surf fast and have all his computers tied together, uh -huh. I actually think his ISDN line flushes his toilet and cooks toast. That's right. right? That it does. <laughs> My news toaster. But ISDN, you are the extreme example for needing ISDN. Here's why. At my house, too, I have three, four computers networked together. They all share a single ISDN line through what's called a proxy. And there's a program called Wingate. It stands for Windows Gateway. It's at www.deerfield.com. This gateway will allow you to use any computer on your local area network at home through your single ISDN line. Now, you could use a modem as well, but you're going to find that as three computers are sharing a modem line, you're not going to have enough bandwidth or enough data coming through to serve all the computers. But you need to first call uh, an internet provider that you use and tell them you want to upgrade your account to an ISDN line. See what the price will be because it varies. Um, it could be as much as $100 a month to, uh, I believe, uh, FlashNet has a $12.95 per month rate. You also need to get some ISDN hardware, and it, it's like a modem, but different. Uh, this hardware runs about $300, uh, and then you also need this Wingate software, but it's worth the upgrade, definitely. So, Mark Markham, Webhead over there, you're an ISDN user as well. What, uh, what do you think about someone who has multiple computers in their home using ISDN? You're, I, you need to pat your son on the back because he's absolutely right. You have a small local air network. You want to have the Internet access. ISDN is the way to do it so that it does, you don't have to stop and wait for one to get off because you're using the same modem or it just slows you down like Dave was saying. You lose all your bandwidth. Um, go ahead and get the ISDN. I think it's a great upgrade. I think everybody's going to be going there anyway. You know, one of the things that Dave didn't mention is you can get a single channel now for just about the same cost as your regular monthly dial-up, and that's 64K. That's a lot of bandwidth. Well, folks, there you go. The whole thing about the Internet is speed, getting it faster, seeing more, doing more, having more, and one of the ways to do that on the Internet is ISDN lines. They're coming about. You're going to be seeing more about them on this show because we're going to start talking about them more in the future. Go call a friend. Tell them to tune in. We'll be right back after this very, very brief message. What a nice face. Hey, NetHeads. Mark Markham, your webhead here. With his 
special surprise for you. Look what I've got. This is a Gold Master, a Gold Master CD-ROM. I sent one of these off to cut your free copy of the CD-ROM software you're going to receive when you register and attend our live broadcast next Sunday night from the Dallas West End Marketplace. Here's what you're going to get on the CD-ROM. The NetTalk Live Custom Internet Explorer, both for PCs and for you Power Mac users. We have Microsoft's Office 97 full featured trial kit version. We have Microsoft's front page, Microsoft Publisher 97, Money 97, even NT Server 4.0. Fully licensed just for you. We've got Microsoft Net Meeting, Comet Chat, Perch IRC Client. We have WinZip and McAfee's antivirus for you, and so much more. Here's what you got to do. Go to our website at www.nettalklive.com and click on the icon that says, Join us March 2nd. Fill out the form and get registered. We'll see you next Sunday. Come get your free CD-ROM. Can't miss Hit of the Season is Real TV, where you'll see the woman with a huge monster in her garage. It's actually a giant possum that isn't about to play dead. Then this cop stops to help a woman in a wreck. But seconds later, they're both sideswiped by another car on the icy road. Plus, this guy makes his living catching snakes, and you're about to see him strike quicker than his King Cobra. Remember, if it's caught on tape, it's on Real TV. Monday, 6.30 on Hot TV 27. Hi, I'm Alan Wong, and in February, we celebrate Chinese New Year. Family and friends come together to honor age-old traditions, and one tradition is to honor each of the 12 lunar cycles by naming it after an animal, such as the snake, the monkey, the tiger. And in 1997, it's the year of the ox. Chinese New Year, another thread in our rich Texas tapestry brought to you by Fox 4. Some fans think hockey comes naturally to Mike Madonna. The fact is, it took a lifetime of commitment, years of hard work, and countless practice shots. Cold ice, cool game, hot TV. Is this in my contract? The hottest shot is Stars Hockey on Hot TV 27. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. Get up there. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. I fell. Area secured. To buzz. If you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? I'd get new teeth. <laughs> Or not to buzz. So don't you buzz me. That is the question. Uh, what's the biggest lie you ever told a guy? I'm going out with my friend. Hi, I'm Andy Wood, host of Buzz, the game where fast-talking, quick-thinking singles get the date of their dream. <laughs> so make a date <laughs> with Buzz. Weeknights at 11 on Hot TV 27. Remember 1974? On Friday nights, you were probably watching... This is Jim Rockford. At the tone, leave your name and message. I'll get back to you. The Rockford Files, with good old-fashioned fist fights, fast gas-guzzling cars, and even pay toilets. Well, the 70s may be over, but Rocky, Dennis, and Jim rock on. Give me a dime. I'm going to crack you open like a piggy bank. The Rockford Files are still hot. Weeknights at 11.30 on Hot TV 27. Live from Dallas, Texas, broadcast worldwide, it's the world's first interactive triple cast. Watch on Hot TV KDFI Channel 27, the live broadcast from the studios of 570 KLIF Radio, and sent worldwide via AudioNet. It's Net Talk Live with your co-host, Laura Lewis. Gadget Guy, Dave Matthews. Webhead. Mark Markham, and your tour guide to the internet and host of Net Talk, Jovan. Net Talk Live is brought to you by Microsoft, developers of the world's leading computer software, including the internet's smartest web browser, Internet Explorer. Get smart. Download your free copy of Internet Explorer now.
Communication Expo, your one-stop low-price communication superstore. Communication Expo, the first 20,000 square foot communication superstore. Visit us in North Dallas at Beltline and the Toll Road. Sponsored in part by Computer Currents Magazine, your source for computing in the real world. Visit us on the World Wide Web at Currents.net. Sponsored in part by CityView.com, your local information and entertainment source. Visit us on the World Wide Web at CityView.com. So boot up your computer, grab your mouse, and join in the fun. Learning about the Internet and the World Wide Web. Follow along with the broadcast of Net Talk Live by going to our homepage at www.nettalklive.com. To send an email during the show, address it to nettalk at nettalklive.com. Well, welcome back to this second to the last segment here of Net Talk Live. We'd like to welcome all of our radio listeners back that have been away listening to the radio, listening to uh, Mavericks game, and congratulations to the Mavericks coming back to win after 16 points behind Laura. They came back oh, to great. win. Oh, great. An away game. Congratulations to the Mavericks. Go Mavs. And we'll right. Welcome back our audio net feed and our radio listeners and say, we missed you guys. Where you been? You missed quite a bit, but hey, we're getting back into it. So let's take our next call. Let's go to line one. Let's go to Gary in Richardson. Hey, Gary. You're hey, hey how are you? Through. You got through. Hey. I want the PC. I want the modem. I want the disc. <laughs> have I won? What do I have to do? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, Gary. You get there and we draw your number. I'm hope you're. I'm hoping, bud, you're that hey, happy listen, on stage. I am PC poor. <laughs> <laughs> my, my complex has a has a uh, has a, a room a business office, and they let you use. Uh, they got four uh, four five PCs in there, uh -huh. so I'm using their PC. But they don't let me put nothing on the hard drive. Don't let me put none of my personal stuff in there, any of that sort of thing. Then you're going to definitely have to come down and win one, my absolutely, friend. Absolutely, absolutely. Listen, I run into a situation where a screen comes up and it says uh, registr registry problem. Delete some of the files uh, to give space whenever I try to do some functions. What in the world is going on? How do I do it or what do I need to do? Okay, say that one more time. It, it, says, it, it says registry problem. And it, it says... Uh, 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 C colon backslash uh, win something user dot that. Okay. Yeah. Well, first let's go over to Webhead Mark Markham, and then we'll go over to Dave and get his answer. So, Mark, what would you, what do you think's going on here? Well, with Windows 95 and, and NT for that matter, we've talked about that earlier. Use what's called a registry. Windows 95 registry. It's kind of like the the brains of everything that Windows 95 uses. Um, and if it's got corrupt, about the easiest way, unless you've backed it up, and for those of you listening, back up and save that file, user.dat and system.dat, D-A-T, D -A -T, um, and save those, because that's your Windows registry, and you want to save those. If it's got corrupted, and you just can't, re and it can't repair itself, you have but one choice that I know of, and that's to reinstall Windows 95. Usually it will recover everything else and put you back in place, and you'll be on the way. On the way. Dave, do you have any other shortcuts or answers to that, of repairing a mm -hmm. registry? That, that's absolutely right. You have to make good backups of these. Without it, it's, it's the index for the computer. It houses where things are stored, where Windows puts them, and if you do lose a copy of this, that's bad news. Uh, is this probably the same computer that everyone's sharing in the clubhouse, I guess it is? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. Probably what's happened is people use it so much and install different programs that it's just gotten corrupt. So that's an unfortunate accident when someone has so much access to a computer. So, Gary, you're, I, I take it, my friend, that you're not actually on the net. No, that's the reason. Oh, so I, that's, yeah, because I wanted to ask you, how do I get registered for all this stuff uh, uh, if I'm not on the net? Okay. Do you have a Do you have a pager? Uh, I had. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I had one up. Stop and laughing, <laughs> Mark. You blew my joke. I was. You, you, Mark, you blew my joke. I was going to say you have a pager. You got a cell phone. You got a paper clip. You got a rubber band. I was going to go through this configuration. What do you do? No, Gary. What we? <laughs> Mark, and you blew it, man. Jovan's not MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gary, let me tell you what you're going to do, my friend, is you can either go down to a library, you can go down to something like Communication Expo, Dietrich's Coffee, all these people that have online computers that you can access, and that's a good way to register because we're opening up to the public. When you go and register to the Internet, your guest or otherwise that you've registered, what you're doing is you're confirming, you're kind of telling us how much software, how many CDs we have to press. And I think we really need to know by close of business Tuesday, uh, which is day after tomorrow, Okay, how many people are going to attend and their guests? 
because that'll be the final amount of CDs that we press with a little overage. So, Gary, what you're doing is by going to somewhere where you can sign on the net, you're assuring you're going to get a copy of the CD, provided you show up early like we recommend to do. And I would tell you we go on the air at 10. You better start arriving about 7.30 to tell you the truth. You really, because you can go down to the West End, you can eat, you can shop uh, while you're waiting for the broadcast. But I'm going to tell you, you really need to start showing up about 7, 7.30 if you can. But if you sign up over the net, we're pretty sure we're going to be able to have software for you, waiting for you. But the general public is allowed. We're going to run an overage for the general public. And it's really going to be first come, first serve, get there outside of the people that are registered. But everyone, and I mean absolutely everyone, everyone will get a CD-ROM even if uh, at some point, Laura, because of crowd capacity, if we run out of CDs, which could happen, uh, we don't expect it to happen, but if it could, you'll get a rain check for it, and we'll get you the CDs, and you'll get all this wonderful software. So, Gary, show up, man, and uh, stand in the middle of the crowd and wave a red flag so we know who you there are. You go. <laughs> Come tell us who you are. <laughs> Come look us up. Anyway, let's go to our next call. Let's see. Let's go to line four, and that's Tommy in Dallas. How you doing today? Hey. Hey, Tommy. Welcome to Net Talk Live. Thank you. Uh, I'm really interested in seeing you guys next Sunday. Uh, right. But my question is, uh, dealing with modem speed, I've heard people say even though you're running the 36.6 or 33.6 or 28.8, that you're not actually running that speed. So is it, I mean, is there any difference in running a 28.8 versus a 33.3 You know, 33.6? That's an interesting question. Let's go over to Gadget Guy, because Dave, you've talked about yes. this before, that uh, you could have a 28.8 modem and not be communicating at 28.8. Let's explain again how that happens. That's right. I'm the culprit here that, that has this to say. Uh, back at, with 14.4 modems, those would always stay pegged or stay connected at 14.4K, which is thousands bits per second. They would stay locked in. With 28.8, the modem manufacturers have squeezed absolutely every last drop of speed out of these modems. Unfortunately, the telephone networks can't handle all this. So what happens is the modems do what's called a handshake. One modem calls the next modem. The next modem tries to communicate at different speeds. Okay, first let's try, try 28.8. Then they drop down to lower speeds. And finally, they settle on a speed that they both can communicate on effectively. And effectively means where they don't lose data because of noisy line conditions. Well. With some modems, you can enter a switch in your advanced modem settings to tell you exactly what it sets at. And Microsoft has done this with, what's, with the unimodem, which is what Microsoft uses now to talk to modems. So it pretty much tells you whether you're connected at 21.4, 26,000, or rarely 28.8. Now, 33.6 modems, they've squeezed even more horsepower out of the lines, but still you won't connect at 33.6 unless conditions are absolutely ideal. Uh, what I have found is 33.6 modems usually connect at 28.8. 28.8 modems usually connect at 24,000 BPS. So, in a nutshell, the modems have, they do what they can to connect at the highest speed. If you call in, if you don't get a fast enough connection, just click disconnect and call back in, and generally you can get a better line just but by Dave, doing that. Yeah, but Dave, what I heard you say is even though they might not communicate at the top speed, the higher the modem speed, the higher the connection That's absolutely though, right. as well. Right. So either either way, you can't lose by going to a, a higher end modem. That's right. And Laura, I know you got a, a, another cool site for us. Yeah, what's I what's this one called? I hope Jeff is ready back there. I want to go ahead and throw it up. I, we actually call it a virtual buffet underneath Laura's picks. Uh, and what this is is you can mail a meal. And I think mail that, a meal. I think that Kim Adams had mentioned something about this um, a couple weeks ago. But uh, what you can do here, which is kind of fun, is you can send a friend via email a meal or f some sort of fun things like you could send them like a, if they're sick send them some chicken soup you know and and what you can do if you want to scroll down just a little bit Jeff just show different selections here oh look at that um, Thanksgiving dinner like let's say uh, can are we can we Jeff do you think we can click on anything else beyond this no we can't um, what you can do is you go in like for example entrees you can go and send somebody like prime rib and and that type of thing and maybe send them a little beverage along with it and a little message that says I was thinking about you how's this and it's a virtual meal and it's a really kind of a fun unique way to communicate with folks via uh, the internet I love it you know so I love these digital postcards and that kind of thing send food and care of gadget at <laughs> nettalklive.com <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, and gadget some food over there. Picking me up. It's kind that's, of fun. So that's kind of like your uh, holiday cards and stuff, but it's a it's virtual mail. It's very creative. Mail. Yeah, I was looking at a whole list before the show of different ways to send digital uh, email, and and you know, there's songs, there's there's uh, talking emails, there's there's just you know all sorts of creative ways to send these in, these things to folks, not just plain old email. So it's pretty good if. Uh, Mom, if you're sitting there on the net and your son or your daughter's away and you can't quite get them a home-cooked meal, well, here's... You send them their uh, favorite meal. You can send them their favorite meal via electronic postcard. Yeah, I thought that was very kind of send them that. That's actually pretty cool. Uh -huh. I think that'd be pretty funny. So it is. We'll see what kind of sausage link and ham and chicken <laughs> stuff we get sent to us now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Laura. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I got and, a burger on my and, screen. And Joe Vaughn, I just wanted to, do I have a minute just to talk about something here that I told you about during the break? Sure, go ahead. Uh, you know, I just have to do this. We uh, we are, because something's going on with the computer right now, we can't look up Blockbuster, but uh, Blockbuster. As in Blockbuster Video. Blockbuster Videos. Oh, we got we, it? Oh, Mark has Mark, do, we do you have, have it? it? Can we? Oh, okay, oh, great. This go. is the Blockbuster site. And the reason I wanted to call attention to this is they're in the paper today that I was reading is that did you know that Blockbuster Buster actually offers videos for the blind and you and I, that's right videos for the blind and basically what it is these special rental movie cassettes for the blind have added narration describing what the actors are doing how they're dressed and other video details and they said they've released uh, 40 of these special movie cassettes available uh, in over the 498 blockbuster stores nationwide I wanted to mention it because it's a wonderful public service if you know anybody that's blind or somebody that possibly is blind that's listening to the show uh, even listens via television that kind of thing there are these movies are available now can you imagine how much is lost out when you watch a video or listen to a video and you're blind and you don't see what's going on? I think this is a wonderful service. Uh, congratulations uh, to uh, Blockbuster for doing that to that's, people out that's there. That's pretty cool. I can imagine some of the movies I've watched in the past, if they had if extra narration uh, during certain scenes and stuff, I think that'd yeah, be pretty cool. What a, what really? a great service. I yes. think that would be really good. Anyway, folks, hang on. We're in the last stretch here going to the very, very, very last segment. And we're going to tell you a little bit more about the uh, uh, West End event that's coming on. We're going to spend a lot of time explaining a little bit more about the West End and how you need to sign up your friends. We're going to have some fun. We'll be right back. Hey, NetHeads, Joe Vaughn here. And if you haven't signed up for a Net Talk Live's live broadcast from the Dallas West End next Sunday, that's March 2nd, next Sunday, let me give you two more reasons you need to go sign up right now. One, we're going to be giving away computers, scanners, color copiers, digital cameras, and almost $100,000 in box software as prizes. Additionally, every person who attends is going to receive the NetTalk Live Microsoft CD featuring Microsoft Internet Explorer and over $2,000 worth of fun, exciting, and useful software. How about titles like, fully licensed now, Microsoft Publisher 97, Microsoft Money 97. You're going to get those titles and many others just for showing up next Sunday, March 2nd, to our live broadcast at the Dallas West End. Also, if you've signed up your friends, remember, because you can invite four, please ask them to go to our website and sign up their guests for themselves so we can make sure that everyone who attends gets their $2,000 software package. So sign up, and we'll see you next Sunday live from the Dallas West End. Monday and Good Day Dallas have a really great show for you. Lisa Hart will be here to show us exercises for the face. Tone up those sagging muscles. Mm -hmm. Also, the car guy talks about getting your car ready for the big trip. Oh, we're going to a luxury spa as well. We're going to have some of the facials for teenagers and massages for pregnant mothers. The news starts at 5. We're here 6 till... His name is John Wetland. He's the World Series MVP. And this season, he's on our team. The Texas Rangers are swinging for a World Series home run. And Port Charlotte, Florida is first base. Join our team for Rangers spring training action tonight on Fox 4 Sports. You always hurt the one you love. I want him. TV 27. 
I used to use Netscape. I now use Microsoft Internet Explorer. I used to use Netscape, and I now use Microsoft Internet Explorer. I switched to Internet Explorer because we put it to the test, and Internet Explorer is the better browser. I switched to Internet Explorer because it's easier to use, has everything the other browser has, and it's free. Absolutely free. Isn't it time you switch? It's easy. Just go to this website. And click on this logo, and your computer does the rest. Get smart. Get Internet Explorer. Download it now. It's free. Freedom. Its cost in human casualties to veterans of 20th century battle has been dear. For the many who suffer trauma to mind and body, an even bigger fear is that they'll be forgotten. What they need most is for Americans to share a simple, kind word, a phone call, a card, or a visit to a VA hospital. Do the right thing. Show of that you remember how much they sacrificed to keep our country free. The city is alive. The energy is building. You can feel it. You're picking up speed. We're on top of it. You can see it. Life's too short. Don't waste a minute. Fox 4 News at 9. You can do it. Nobody gets you closer than Fox 4 News. Nobody. Stand by for safe, economical transportation. Stand by for cleaner air and less traffic. Stand by for dart rail. It arrives every five to 10 minutes during rush hours. But whatever you do, while you're standing by, don't stand too close to the tracks. We're back with the world's first live triple cast. It's Net Talk Live. If you'd like to become a sponsor of Net Talk or have your website or computer product shown on the air, just give us a call. Folks, we're in the last segment here. This is uh, Imagine. Here we are in our last segment here tonight. And uh, this time, next Sunday, we will have been giving away tons and tons and tons of hardware and software. We all have had a great time and a fun bash at the Dallas West End. It's going to be absolutely Incredible, don't you think, Laura? Oh, yeah. I think we're going to have a great time, especially with all the restaurants staying open, all the stores. Everything's going to be all, all stay open, correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just going to have a great time out there. So there'll be plenty of food, plenty of people out there having fun. we got a band. we got all kinds of stuff going on. But we'll tell you more about that in a minute. Let's clear our calls. Let's go to line three. Let's go to Hank in North Dallas. Hey, Hank. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you, and good afternoon or evening to Joe Vaughn. Hey. I was so impressed with your pitch for downloading Internet Explorer that I'm remotely considering doing it. Okay. However, <laughs> however I'm afraid that I'm going to get there and have nothing to do. What about my files that I have residing in Netscape, Free Agent, and Eudora? How am I going to get to them? Okay. Well, let's go over to our resident expert on that topic. Let's go over to Webhead Mark Markham, and uh, he'll kind of answer that one for you. I Mark, knew how I do you do this? Get that one. <laughs> Hey, I, I'll tell you what, the way, this, the way this works is this. When you install the Internet Explorer, it's not going to delete your Netscape or Agent or any of the other programs. They're still just going to work just fine. What it will do is it's going to take all the bookmarks that you have in your Netscape, and it's going to add it automatically to your favorites list in Internet Explorer so that you can go to the, the websites and stuff and, and the, to the same bookmarks that you have now. Uh, all your agent will work. You, it actually comes with, I believe this version that you download is going to come with Internet Mail, so you have a new mail reader, Internet News, which is a brand new news groups reader. You're really going to like that. It's going to come with Comic Chat, HTML layout control, Net Meeting, so you can conference on the Internet. It comes with a lot of stuff, and it's not going to delete anything that you currently have. It's just going to give you a better way to use the functionality on the Internet and let you, let you enjoy it the way the Internet Explorer lets you do it. Now, Mark, I know you personally prefer to use the Internet Explorer the mail client that comes with it as opposed to your door for a lot of things you do mm -hmm. and why is that because I know yeah, you my, went to the one built in the browser yeah my my personal email I use with the internet mail because it's easy it's customizable I can I can choose either plain text or I can send 
uh, a, a full email message in HTML. I mean, where it actually, when you read it, it looks just like a web page with formatting and colors and the whole nine yards. Uh, it's great for files, for uh, keeping them, keep them categorized and stored real nice. Um, it's a great program. So as long as he doesn't open, like if he wanted to switch over and just use the Internet Mail, that comes with Internet Explorer. I know I did this when I switched over. Is I took a few select pieces of mail that I had in my Eudora, and I just forwarded the mail back up to myself. And then I opened my Internet Explorer and I checked my own mail, which downloaded it right back into my own mailbox, but in the uh, mail client within Internet Explorer. Correct, Mark? That's that's pretty easy, Jovan. I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> no, I learned something. That, that is an easy way to do it and keep track of all your mail and stuff. Um, there are there are a couple of different ways you can store them, uh, save them, or export them as a text file, and bring them into your new into your new mail client. Um, but you will really like the program. It's not going to delete anything or replace anything that you currently have um, on your computer. Now you build. Actually, you can use, you can run Netscape and Internet Explorer at the same time, at the exact same time, at the same website if you wanted to. Um, and look forward to things like that. Um, you'll see websites from a very different perspective sometimes when you use the two together. And you'll and see why I like IE. Okay, anyway, let's go to our last call of the evening. Let's go to line one. Let's go to Dan in Keller, Texas. Hey, Dan, are you there? Hi, Dan. Do I think Dan, Dan went one? dial tone. Dan, Dan dial tone. <laughs> I know well. what Jeff wanted to know. Uh, I talked to Jeff earlier. Uh, okay. Jeff, Jeff wanted to know about the MMX processors. Is you mean that right? Dan on line one? Uh, that, that's right. Okay. I'm sorry. I was talking to my Jeff here <laughs> in the control room. Anyway, uh, he wanted to know about the MMX processors, what they are. Uh, what, what they are is 57 new instructions that sit on a CPU, and these, these instructions handle things like video, music, et cetera, et cetera. It also has twice as much cache as a normal Pentium CPU. So what this does is lets your computer run 15% faster. And Intel has an awesome website. You can see the uh, the little guy. Uh, oh, they've got I love some neat that. commercials it now is too. Cool. So uh, go to www.mmx.com and you can read about this exciting technology. Probably this summer we'll see software to fully take advantage of the technology, but right now you'll see a 10 to 15% increase in computing speed just because of the processor. Uh, but the new instructions will be here this summer when software is available and then your computer will really fly. Looks like MMX is going to be the wave of the future folks and that that's we're it. giving away MMX computers. By the way, we have MMX computers that's going to be given away uh, at the uh, Dallas West End. I want to say congratulations to Dennis Laird in Arlington. He was one of our treasure hunt winners. And the other one was Susan Holmes in North Richland Hills. So Gadget, great show. Thank you. I just want to say next weekend is the Super Bowl of computers. Not only is it our event, but we talked, Jovan, a couple months ago about the first Saturday sidewalk sale. Right. Uh, it's this Saturday, bright and early. I think vendors start setting up at 2 in the morning, but uh, it doesn't really get going until about 5, 6 in the morning. And it's at Ross Avenue and Highway 75, first Saturday of every month, and it is an outrageous computer swap meet. It's going to be big. Mark, you have anything to add as we yeah, go out here? It's a great show. Go register for next Sunday's show. You do not want to miss it. I am so excited about getting there and being at the West End, meeting all of you and watching you win all the computers and hardware and software. And, and I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a blast. Make sure you register. Get your friends to go register because we want to give away all this software while we can before somebody figures out what in the world we're doing. Because <laughs> we be, lost our mind. It's going to be huge. And, Laura, you know, hey, it's going to be pretty cool. Don't yeah, you think? I'm really looking forward to meeting all of our fans. Really, really looking forward to that. So come on out and say hi to us. Folks, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time. The Dallas West End is going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to have bands. We're going to be live. We've got music. we got giveaways. We are going to have a lot of fun. We love you. Go sign up. Tell your friends to do it. And we will see you live, 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 live next Sunday from the Dallas West End. We'll see you there. This has been Net Talk Live. Net Talk Live is a presentation of AudioNet, the broadcast network on the Internet. 570 KLIF, home of the talk team, and Hot TV KDFI, Channel 27. Net Talk Live is brought to you by Microsoft, developers of the world's leading computer software including the Internet's smartest web browser, Internet Explorer. Get smart. Download your free copy of Internet Explorer now. Communication Expo, your one-stop, low-price communication superstore. Sponsored in part by Computer Currents Magazine, your source for computing in the real world. CityView.com, your local information and entertainment source. 
If you'd like to become a sponsor of Net Talk or have your website or computer product shown on the air, just give us a call. This is Net Talk, the world's first triple cast. Net Talk is everything you need to know about the internet and how to use it. Tell your friends about Net Talk.